friends to we'll solve problem on kinematics of rigid body see in this problem what is given collar b moves up with constant velocity of 2 meters per second i mean vp is given as a 2 meter per second rod ab is pinned at b find out angular velocity of ab and velocity of end a now this collar means what it is a sort of hollow cylinder when see this collar b if we we'll try to represent here this collar b is something like this where this is a hollow cylinder having a hole central hole here and this one is a hollow up to you can say its lower end and a rod is inserted through this hole so that this collar means hollow cylinder can slide in up or downward direction now in problem what is given collar b moves up with a constant velocity of 2 meters per second that means collar b moves in upward direction we will represent this velocity velocity of collar b upward will represent here this is the direction of velocity vb equal to 2 meters per second other end of rod is on inclined plane that means motion of end a is restricted and a has to slide along the plane only maybe upward maybe downward depending on direction of linear velocity of collar b as collar b moves in vertically upward direction end of rod a has to slide along the plane in upward direction let me this is the direction of va now as linear velocities of two points are known that their directions are known to represent icr will draw perpendicular to the velocity vectors that is perpendicular to va and perpendicular to vb if we we'll draw here perpendicular to vb you will get a horizontal line say this one is perpendicular to vb and perpendicular to va is not perpendicular to rod ab it is perpendicular to va that means if we we'll draw a line this line is perpendicular to you can say plane or perpendicular to va point of intersection what will get here is icr now to find out this linear velocity of end a angular velocity of rod ab you have to find out lens i and ib for that one as this plane is inclined at 30 degree that means this line if i extend here this angle is 90 which is perpendicular to va that means inclination with horizontal is 60 degree as inclination of this line with horizontal here 60 so i'll represent here this angle as 60 degree inclination at this location here is 50 this is 60 that means in this triangle iab easily will get this angle where 180 minus 60 minus 50 that means 180 minus 110 so this angle comes out to be 70 degree now in this triangle iab you know all three angles and one length is known that is ab so applying sine rule easily will get lengths i and ib we will apply here sine rule in triangle iab and we will find out lengths i and ib in triangle iab applying sin rule so any length if we we'll take divided by sin of opposite angle that means ia upon sin of ia upon sin of this angle opposite angle is 50 degree equal to ib upon sin of opposite angle opposite angle is 70 degree and this length ab which is known equal to 1.5 meter divided by sin of opposite angle that is what 60 degree if you we'll calculate using calculator you will get this length ia and ib ia comes out to be 1.326 meters and length ib comes out to be 
1.627 meters. Now, as you are getting I and IV, next part is what? Simple equation V equal to R omega. As you know, velocity of collar be vertically upward 2 meters per second. Therefore, first equation will apply for VB. That means VB is what? Radius of rotation. Radius of rotation is IB into angular velocity of rod AB. You know VB equal to 2 meters per second. IB length is 1.627 meters into omega of bar AB. Therefore, omega of bar AB comes out to be 2 upon 1.627. That means this omega is 1.229 radians per second and direction of omega will get anticlockwise. This is our first answer. Then, linear velocity of other point A, if you want to find out, that is VA equal to, it's a distance of point A from center of rotation is IA into omega AB. IA length you have calculated 1.326, omega AB you know 1.229. Therefore, linear velocity of point A, if you find out, this one is 1.629 meters per second and this end A slides along the plane in upward direction whose inclination is 30 degree. This omega AB direction is important anti-clockwise. Just see main figure. IAB if we assume a triangle. Now VA upward, VB upward and center of rotation is I. That means this rod AB has to rotate about point I in this direction. This is omega which is anticlockwise. That means what is asking problem? Find omega as well as linear velocity of point A. We are getting omega equal to 1.229. Direction is what? Anticlockwise. And V is 1.629 meters per second. Velocity upward along the plane inclined at 30 degree. Thank you.